So, uh, Doctor, what advice do you want to give to these, uh, uh, these kids? Yeah. Uh, young children, they should be informed that these things are quite natural. One is likely to feel attraction to the opposite sex. That is very normal, but one should not get involved at this age. It, this becomes an infatuation, maybe an infatuation. Any, any person can, any or boy or girl can feel attracted to another uh, girl or boy. That is normal. And we have to make them understand that this is a normal feeling, but I should not act accordingly, impulsively, mm -hmm. along with that. If it's a genuine love, it is not physical. Here, the, uh, usually what happens in infatuation, one person is always keep on loving the other person. There, okay. there may not be any, it is a one-way traffic. Another person does not have any interest in the other way, and he is keep on giving things, sweets or chocolates or something, etc. And when these things occur, it should be, one should understand that it's an uh, infatuation. Uh, doctor, another thing, like uh, many of young children, they do get into sexual activities nowadays. Uh, so, uh, what advice do you want to give to them? If you ask about masturbation, number one, masturbation, many young boys, even at the age of eight, nine, the commonest age at which a boy start masturbation is 12 or 13 years, 13, 14 years, that's the age. Even there are boys who started it at the age of seven, eight, etc. We come across many people. Even the girls, uh, in the case of girls also, they start masturbation by the age of uh, 13, 14 or during the teenagers. It's not that everybody is doing, but many people are doing. It's not being taught, but they are spontaneously doing. It's uh, again masturbation, we consider it as a normal activity. But if a boy or girl is preoccupied with masturbation and spend a lot of time for that and they are not studying, means it's abnormal. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it is cons usually considered as a normal activity. Then, if you take it, uh, if you mean that uh, the relationship with another person, mm -hmm. that is more dangerous. We always advise to restrict your sexual activity as far as possible. Don't get involved into the uh, sexual activities during teenagers. Because there was a study, uh, the t comparison between teenage pregnancy, that is uh, teenage pregnancy and the uh, women who, who got pregnant between the age of 20 to 29. This first one is up to 19 years, second group is 20 to 29. The first teenage pregnancy had 50% more complications. And another thing, this, most of the teenage girls, they are becoming, if, even if they are becoming pregnant, it's an unwanted pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And to go for abortions, lot of things. It is there in the society. One has to be very careful. When the children, they get into the love affair and all, one has to, they should learn how to protect themselves, especially the female children. And this is my body. You should not touch me without my permission. It's not like shaking hand. The other area, they should be able to differentiate between the good touch and bad touch. When the comments comes also, something good and bad, they should be able to differentiate between and they should uh, react properly. I think uh, there is uh, uh, between the f parents and the kids, there should be a uh, communication. There should yeah. be an open, open communication, communication yeah. between the parents and uh, adolescents. Mm -hmm. Usually what happens, when the adolescent boy, when if the parents are talking, parents means some uh, one of your neighbor visited you, the father, mother, everybody is talking, the boy will stand and peep what is what they are talking. Immediately the parent will get upset. Eh, don't you go and study? Why are you standing here? as if you are a grown-up man. You are not a grown-up man, you are a little boy, you go and study. And next day the child will be going and playing with younger children. The parents will scold them. Even now you are believing that you are a little kid, you are not a kid. You are a grown-up boy, you go and do your job. And this sort of problem should not be there. Instead of criticism, whenever you criticize the teenagers, they become more hostile and they become more secretive. Mm -hmm. So it is better that there should be a proper, friendly, open communication between the parents and children. Mm -hmm. Suppose something, even if a boy made a love, request for love or gave a letter or something like that, if the girl is able to share it with the mother mm -hmm. and mother should take in that sporting spirit and mother can guide her. Mother can understand when she is going to danger. Mm -hmm. She can protect. So there should be a proper communication between the parents and children. And the children should be able to say whatever, whenever they want to say no, they should be able to say no assertively.
so Rory, it was really informative. Thank you so much. Thank you. So friends, if you have any suggestions, write to us. Our email ID is youtherryrosebowl at gmail.com.